Welcome to today's webinar, um, where we're going to talk about growing your practice through a personalized um, patient experience. Um, this is a very important topic um, since healthcare is a service, right? Uh, part of this, the service is a procedure and the surgery, but yet the rest of it is all about communication and service. And if you ask patients about this, then they say, you know, 96% of all patient complaints have nothing to do with the actual care. They're actually all about the service they receive and the communicational aspect. So today we're gonna to talk about uh, that. So I'm super excited again to have Chirag, uh, Brittany, and uh, me on this webinar. And maybe before we start, uh, why don't we introduce ourselves and maybe we start with Brittany. Maybe you can give us a little bit of introduction about your background um, and et cetera. I'm Brittany Danbury. I'm a PA physician assistant. Um, I have been a PA for eight years, mainly in dermatology. Uh, I have worked in both Florida and New York. Wonderful, great. Chirac, do you wanna take it next? Yeah. No, Simon, thank you so much. And listen, you know, we're, we're super excited to be co-hosting this with you. Uh, obviously, we share similar investors, same investor, actually, one of them. And I remember when Marg and I were pitching Lara Hippo and they had mentioned this company called Clara. And so it's great to kind of see it in some ways come full circle and work working closer. Um, so thank you so much. And Brittany, again, thanks for being here as well and excited to dive in deeper. Um, Hi everyone, my name is Chirag. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders and the chief marketing officer here at Medley. Really what Medley is, is we're a digital pharmacy and coming and being second generation pharmacy owners, we saw a lot of the issues that patients, doctors, manufacturers, and all these stakeholders have with the pharmacy. And our vision was how can we build the pharmacy from the ground up um, by leveraging things like distribution, um, a stronger customer experience um, and technology and, and combined um, bettering kind of the patient experience as a result. So, you know, we started the company in June of 2017 and, and have scaled the business significantly since then to multiple markets. So excited to dive in deeper and, and chat more about that. Wonderful. Yeah, welcome. I'm, I'm equally excited, um, especially also having, uh, you know, um, Brittany, on 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 the uh, in the webinar and also speaking with Chirac because you know there's a lot of customers that are using both Clara and Medley Pharmacy so that's exciting to see and one of one of the things that we're going to talk about is how using both Clara and Medley obviously uh, influences improving a patient experience. A little bit more about me. I'm uh, like I said. I'm Simon. I'm one of the founders and co-CEO of Clara. Um, we are an end-to-end -end patient communication platform. So our goal is ultimately to um, reduce the pain of the phone. To be honest, right? We all, uh, if we work in practices or if we're patients, we all know the problem of phone tag, and Clara is solving exactly that problem. And um, we do this by uh, moving the conversation away from the phone onto messaging. And um, so we are converting phone calls into messages. We're digitizing the in entire patient experience. So uh, call it uh, patient intake, um, scheduling, um, everything at, before and after the visit. And also a lot of things that we do are related to automation. So anything that happens before the, um, the visit and during the visit can be automated by Clara. So again, we are an end-to-end -end, uh, patient communication platform offering seamless um, video visits, um, smart messaging and uh, efficient team collaboration in uh, all in one platform. Um, today, we serve thousands of healthcare prof uh, professionals across more than 40 specialties, many of uh, which are independent medical practices. So, um, yeah, in this webinar today, Chirik and I will chat with Brittany about the impacts of uh, both Clara and Medley and how much these, what impacts that had uh, on her um, practice or daily work basically. And most importantly, we'll focus on, you know, her patient experience and how this has elevated using our both services and other like takeaways. Um, so please feel free to put any questions that are also not related to us. We don't want this to be too commercial, obviously, um, and we wanna really make this an interesting uh, exchange of information. 
So um, why, why don't we start with you, Brittany? Um, um, I'd love to just get in general idea of, can you, can you just paint a picture of the size and scale of practices that you worked with in the past, like specialty size, um, most typical patient cases, uh, et cetera? Absolutely. So um, I have worked for two practices, both in dermatology. Um, one was a very small practice. It was just me and one other MD and that's it. So it was a very small boutique practice. And then I've worked for an incredibly large practice with multiple providers, um, both PAs, NPs and uh, MDs and spread throughout multiple states. So I've worked in both ends, um, but mm -hmm. all in dermatology. Sounds super interesting. What, what do you love most about your job? I love helping people. That was the main reason I went into medicine. Um, I, you know, being in dermatology, I love diagnosing, treating. I love that I can do surgery. I can do cosmetics and it's just, it's always interesting to me. Got it. And like nowadays, everybody's talking about uh, COVID and the pandemic and, you know, and obviously you, can you just share a little bit what you went through um, in the beginning of the year where nobody do anything and then suddenly this craziness came upon us and and now we're again in a different stage because everybody adjusted to it. Um, can you just share a little bit how you experienced um, COVID in, in, uh, in your work? Absolutely. When um, COVID hit, I was working in New York. Um, so one of the biggest pandemic epicenters, which made it even more interesting. Um, you know, working in Manhattan and in New York, we ended up shutting completely down for six weeks. So the month of April and part of May, um, but we still wanted to be there for our patients and we still wanted to give access to our patients in terms of patients that are suffering from rashes and issues and patients that needed refills. So um, I was very fortunate to work with a practice that immediately started telemed within about two or three days after we shut down. And um, our telemed was done directly through Clara, which was great because it was Clara was something we were already um, comfortable with and we had been using for about a year. So it was not a new system to us. And it was not a new system to our patients, which was also great. Um, they had already been messaging us through these systems. We had already been contacting um, pharmacies with this system. And so it was actually a pretty easy transition, which was great. Um, and I felt like we had no gap in patient care, which is huge. And I can tell you there's a lot of practices throughout the country that did not have as great of experience as um, I was able to have with my, my, my patients. That's great to know. Sorry, I was on mute. Um, that's great to know. And uh, yes, yeah, super excited that we were able to help you guys. Um, talking a little bit, uh, you mentioned Clara already, obviously, and um, you also said that you were using Clara for a year already, right? And then came the pandemic and then you used also the video call visit. So you never used video calls before the pandemic. Why, why were you, uh, why was your practice looking for a solution like Clara in the first place? What, what were your biggest inefficiencies and struggles? So the biggest inefficiency at the practice I was at, um, which is still a pretty large inefficiency, is our call center. And this is um, the area where calls are coming in and there's over 50 to 60 practices within the group that I was in. So think about the amount of calls coming in and how long it took me to actually get those messages. And that was a big problem within our practice. Patients were complaining that they didn't hear back for, from us for days, messages were lost. Um, if a provider was out or you know an MA was out, messages weren't, weren't received. And so Clara was kind of able to, uh, what my practice did is they made a task box. So I had a Brittany Danbury task and that were, is where it always went. And then I had my own inbox. And the nice thing about the task box was that anyone in my office could grab that. It could be a medical assistant, it could be front desk, it could be a manager. So if someone was able to check it at all times um, and it was just able to cut back as well on the amount of calls coming in because when you have so many calls coming in, people are on hold and they get frustrated and they give up. And you know you aren't booking as many appointments because you're dealing with refill requests and, thing, and, and pharmacy calls. So 
Claire was able to kind of filter some of those things um, and make it easier for our practice to handle the amount of volume of calls that we were coming in. I think you're on mute again, Simon. Oops. Uh, so <laughs> the biggest difference uh, that you saw before and after Clara was um, in, re in, in regards to patient experience, call volume, etc. Maybe um, can you share examples, like concrete examples, where you really felt the biggest uh, impacts there? You know, um, I would say the biggest impact was when you're playing phone tag with a patient. Um, and it kind of goes back and forth and they still have more questions. So you finally get a hold of them. You think you answer everything. And then they call back five minutes later for more questions. And I don't get that call because when I'm in the room with patients, I'm not next to the phone. And I tell my medical assistants, don't take me out of a room unless it's an emergency, unless it's another doctor calling. I try to really stay in the room to stay engaged with my patients. So the nice thing about Clara that I love the messaging system is I can send a message, hit send, and when they reply back, I will reply back as soon as I can, and they can continue to ask these questions. Um, I also love in Clara how they can send photos um, if there's, uh, you know, they're having a reaction, uh, you know, anything like that. I also do a good amount of cosmetics, so it was great mm -hmm. for me to connect with patients cosmetic-wise and let them know, like, hey, I had, I got this bruise, and I can tell them that bruise is normal. Versus on the phone, when someone tells you they have a bruise, you have no idea what you're looking at. Um, and so that was a great way for me to engage with my patients. And I also loved how my medical assistants could also help me with some of these tasks. Working for a very busy practice, I had a lot of messages and a lot of tasks that I couldn't handle all on my own. And my MAs were able to kind of filter what questions I should be answering and what they can help with. Cool. Um, before we, because I also would like to speak a little bit about Medley, um, um, and but before we do that, one one last question: How do you think it has affected you on in your daily day? Like, would you say you would have you know saved X amount of hours, or like, uh, just tell me the impact on you personally? Ed. You know, the biggest thing that I noticed is I was felt like A, I was able to get all the office on time every day, which usually never happened. And B, when I left the office, I felt like I left with everything taken care of. I never liked to leave the office with a phone call up in the air or something that wasn't done. And with Clara, I was able to check my inbox. I know all my patients' questions are answered and I can go home um, knowing that that's all taken care of. Amazing. Switching to Medley a little bit, and Chirac, feel free to jump in. Um, why did you guys, how did you hear about Medley? How did you hear about them? Why did you sign up? And what was your experience with them so far? Um, so I had heard about Medley. As we all know, dermatology products and prescriptions tend to be on the most expensive end. And so we all have issues getting the products that we want our patients to have. And I had heard about Medley the first time when um, one of their representatives came into the office and introduced himself to me and kind of told me the services they were able to provide and things like that. Um, before working in New York, I worked in Florida for, like I said, a very, very small practice. Um, at this practice, any PA that came in, I took care of myself and I could be stuck on the phone for hours and I would be there in the office way past my, you know, normal times dealing with PAs. So moving to New York and hearing that there was pharmacies that could help with this was huge for me because I would rather focus my energy on taking care of patients, what I love to do, um, and answering questions that I need to answer versus having to deal with um, insurances and prior authorizations and, you know, ultimately getting medications I, that I want my patients to get. No, uh, Brittany, that makes total sense. One thing just jumping off of there is, could you maybe speak a little bit about how or why the pharmacy is important to your practice? Like how does it become an extension? And and of course, follow up there with, you know, just from your experience with Medley is, you spoke about the PA, you spoke about insurance and kind of handling some of that, but were there other critical aspects that made recommending Medley to, to your patients more of an important option for them? You know, one of the other huge things with recommending Mendeley to me was that you guys are on Clara and you were able to contact me directly. So I was able to form a relationship with you and your pharmacist directly and know who I'm talking to. 
That way you guys can get to know my preferences and you can directly get a hold of me if something comes up, if a medication is too expensive, if it's not covered, if a patient wants an alternative versus if it goes to a local pharmacy, I don't hear from them for days. And then the patient is frustrated that they haven't gotten their medication and they've waited. So I love the fact that if I send a script to you guys and there's any problems, I'll hear from you within hours and I can resolve that issue. You know, one of the more frustrating things as a provider is you get a patient with an appointment, you have them in the office and you're, you drive well and it's a great experience for them. And then all of a sudden they leave the practice and they have a terrible experience with the pharmacy. And that directly reflects on me as a provider. And so it was really important for me to grow a relationship with a pharmacy that we could know each other very well and contact each other directly. Um, you know, I've always said with Medley and, you know, you guys have my cell phone number, you have my email address, you have my Clara, and there's always a direct line that's open and you can't do that with other pharmacies. So, so interesting. And, and Chirag, uh, just chiming in there, you speak a lot about like Clara and Medley. Could you also like speak about like how they're basically interwoven with each other? And, and then maybe also talk about um, uh, patient experience, like how these two things made such a big impact on, on improving the patient experience. Absolutely. I mean, so the nice thing about Clara is it's not just connecting patients with providers. It's connecting patients with providers, providers with pharmacies, and then back pharmacies with patients. So it's a great big triangle, um, which is huge because if I have a patient message me on Clara and they say, hey, my prescription was really expensive. What can we do? I can immediately start a new conversation with the patient and with Medley. And then they, and I can say, hey, Medley, the patient has questions about their prescription. Can we figure out a resolution? And the three of us can all be on a chat together to figure out a resolution together versus me going to a local pharmacy and they, I have to call the local pharmacy. I have to um, get alternatives over the phone. And then I have to call the patient back and provide them the alternatives and they can pick what they want. And I have to call the pharmacy back and say what the patient wants. I mean, you end up on the phone all day for one prescription versus an easy chat where everyone's on the same page. Um, and I just think it's really nice. And then going forward, whenever the patient has additional pharmacy questions, they know that they can go directly to Medley. And almost, it doesn't remove me from the equation, but it helps that I'm still there if you need me, but you know how to directly get a hold of your pharmacy. So, so interesting. Uh, and I, I just, I always ask myself, like, you know, what, what, a, what, a, how are patients now coming to you? Do they say like, this has helped me tremendously? What, what, how are patients reacting to this new way of, you know, how healthcare is being delivered in the combination of Medley, which doing, is doing fantastic things and, and Clara? You know, I will say when we first started using specialty pharmacies and Clara, patients were a little more hesitant. Um, I think they did, they just, it was new to them and they weren't quite sure if they were going to want to be a part of um, the whole technology boom. But, but then, you know, the one of the few things that came good out of COVID is that people have now realized that how easy this makes life and how important it is. Um, and it's really helped patients transition into using Clara and Medley and they don't have any doubts. And after they start using it, they find out how easy it is and how, you know, how much it helps their life and how much, you know, those kinds of things. Cool. We, we got a question here uh, and maybe uh, Chirac or Brittany, you can both uh, answer this. Um, what all does Medley offer? Is this a specialty pharmacy? Yeah, happy to take that. And then, of course, Brittany, you know, you, you spoke a little bit about your experience with Medley and Medley and Clara, so feel free to add on. But, you know, we're a digital pharmacy. So we have one brick and mortar pharmacy in a major metropolitan area. And some of the services that we offer, um, some that Brittany, of course, has mentioned, uh, specifically for the provider is prior authorization, right? So assisting with the prior authorization process, um, giving updates on the delivery status, of course, uh, but also consumer focused services, um, such as same day free delivery, for example, a mobile app that customers can use to manage their medications, having transparency around what the cost of medications are. And to the other, to the other question here around, is it a specialty pharmacy? Um, we are, and we have taken a very specialty driven approach um, to help patients through their therapy, right? So, you know, whether, whether it's 
having pharmacists on hand, as Brittany had mentioned, to assist with any questions that patients might have. Um, these are some of the aspects that we believe are important in order to deliver better outcomes. And I think, Brittany, you spoke really briefly about why was it so important to use a tool like Clara to connect the pharmacy, the doctor, and the patient. And I think one of the things that we've done a great job of through the use of Clara as well is being able to deliver some of those um, more specific nuances that would traditionally get left in the pharmacy alone um, through services like Clara, uh, but also traditionally through a pharmacy like Medley. Great, and uh, Simon, if it's cool, I'll, I'll just go ahead and answer. Yeah, please. So where is the actual pharmacy? Um, do you have pharmacy? So just to clarify, we are the pharmacy. So we don't work with other pharmacies. Uh, and I think, you know, I, I don't want to speak for you, Brittany, but I think that's another huge value prop because you're getting consistency of service on an ongoing basis. Um, so our pharmacy in New York is in Brooklyn. Our pharmacy in New Jersey, um, you know, is, is, is near Jersey City. Uh, in Philly, we have location, so on and on, right? So, excuse me, not, not Jersey City, Somerville. So we have the actual brick and mortar and we use that as a, as a basically a centralized location to deliver the medications. Fantastic. I love that there are so many questions coming in and uh, please uh, to all the, you know, attendees of this webinar, feel free to just message in. We'll take these questions and try to answer them ad hoc. Um, going forward a little bit, uh, Brittany, uh, is how do you think, um, you know, patients how, how, how do you think the future of uh you know the future patient experience will look like right because everything is changing COVID has uh, made a push to all these technological or online products like medley or um uh, uh, clara and um, where how do you see the future and then we'll take another question that, that can that just came in so I think, you know, one thing that hasn't um, been touched base on yet is the delivery of Medley. And it's one of those things, we're all working from home. We're all home most of the time and we're trying to limit our amount of um, activities out of the home. And I think that's where the delivery service is huge because that can prevent you or, you know, stop you from having to go to a pharmacy and stand in line at a pharmacy um, and get everything delivered directly to your home. And so that's one point that I wanted to make about Medley as well. Um, and I think that's really important for us to continue to keep ourselves healthy as well as our neighbors and our other, you know, patients and family and things like that. Got it. And, and how do you think about like patient communication, like looking at Clara was like an end to end communication. How, how do you think this is going to happen in, in the future? How will the patients schedule their appointment and then fill out their paperwork? And, and, and how will the follow-up be happening? How do you think this is going to be? So um, as we transitioned into telemed, we started utilizing Clara even more for these kinds of things. So now we've gotten to a point where we will collect insurance cards on Clara before the visit. We will send, um, you know, patient data information in terms of uh, past medical history, allergies, all of that can be filled up before the visit. Um, we also are able to collect co-pays now and send them a link directly in Clara on how to pay their co-pays. And all of these things, all of these little tiny steps, which seem little, but in the end they add up, allows me to spend more one-on-one -on -one, one time with the patient. So when I'm on a telemed call with them, I don't have to wait um, for their insurance information. I don't have to wait for them to pay their, their copay. I can just start the visit and I have a full amount of time with them. And I think that that is gonna keep um, being an instrumental piece going forward, especially as patients wanna continue to have visits at home. Um, you know, as important as it is to have Medley deliver prescriptions to home, it's just as important for patients to take their visits at home. Yeah, and just a follow-up question, because um, you you also use Clara for um, patients that are not just, you know, tele televisits or video visits, right? You also use Clara to collect insurance cards and remind them of the appointment and et cetera, all the things that you mentioned, if there's no not a telemedicine visit, is that correct? Absolutely. So, you know, we used Clara long before telemed. Um, and, you know, before that, it was a messaging system. And so, you know, when I first started at this bigger practice, and I found out I got more and more um, 
complaints and issues with customer service about I left you a message and I never heard from you. It took you, you know, it took your office three days to get your message to you. And so what I started doing in the very beginning is I started giving out my card with my email address, which was a great way for me to keep connected with patients, but it was also difficult for me to manage that all by myself um, with the amount of patients that I was seeing. So Clara was kind of this, you know, gift that I was given of a way that I didn't have to give out my personal information in order to keep patient customer service high. Um, and it was a great way for me to connect with my patients and let my MAs connect with my patients and my managers connect with my patients. And so that's a huge thing. You know, another thing too, is we've now made another task box or two other task boxes, one for our billing department. So if I have a patient that says, Hey, Brittany, you know, I have a question about a bill that I received from you. I immediately can assign it to my billing department in Clara and they can take care of it from there. And I can say, you know, hey, patient X, um, I've connected with my billing department. I've assigned this a task for them and they'll get back to you within 24 hours. Same thing with scheduling. You know, I got to a point where patients were emailing me about appointments. Can I have an appointment for next Tuesday? And it's hard for me to manage scheduling appointments as well as seeing patients. So now I can assign that task to my scheduling department and say, patient needs an appointment and they can take care of it from there. So it's nice that we have all of these channels and these boxes that we can kind of assign to the correct person so it can be taken care of faster. Great. Uh, Jerick, there's another question I think for you. It says, is there a pharmacy in the DMV area? Yeah, just to answer that. Um, so we have a pharmacy in Baltimore. Uh, and, and one of the things we were talking about offline is that we've recently uh, been scaling the pharmacy. So, so getting a pharmacy in each major metropolitan. So the vision for us is to be in all the major metropolitan areas in the next 18 months. So uh, that's something that the team is working very hard on doing. So I think I see some additional locations. So the goal and the plan here is to have one medley in each of these major metropolitan areas that we can use to deliver prescriptions to patients' homes. Great. Um, there's another question. Do patients not use your EMR portal for messages and appointment requests then and only use Clara? Question mark. So, so it kind of depends on the patient um, and I'm okay with whatever they're comfortable with. Um, I do have some patients still email me and I do have some patients send me messages in our, um, our EMR portal. But like I touched base on the portal in EMR does not allow me to connect with the pharmacy as well. Um, and so that's one huge thing that Clara has that ability to uh, connect directly with Medley. And as patients realize that, then they tend to use Clara more often. Yeah. And, and do you, would you say like, I mean, you had a portal before you use Clara, right? Uh, do you think there's more patients using Clara than the portal? And why would you say this is the case? So actually, we didn't have a portal before. We were on Next Tech, which did not have a portal, which is kind of crazy, which is why there were so many issues with our call center and so many issues with the emails that I was receiving. Um, and so we introduced Clara first. And so that was kind of our patient portal. And that was the only portal we had. Um, and then about six months into using Clara, we transitioned into Emma, which did have a patient portal. So I would say most of my patients are more comfortable and more used to Clara just because we introduced it first before the portal was even an option. And that's where Clara was even more important because I didn't have that portal to be able to send things to patients. Got it. Well, one thing there to say is like our adoption rate is 85%, uh, you know, from, from the patient side. Would, do you think like patients would uh, adopt the portal also to such an extent, like that you have an adoption rate from almost, you know, every patient on the portal side? You know, it's hard to say. And I think that one hard thing about patient portals that even I've realized is that my internal med, my OBGYN, my dermatology, they all use different portals, which I think can be a little tricky. Where Clara, it can be any specialty. And it kind of groups all these um, specialties into one portal in my mind. And so I find it to be easier to utilize that one instead of having a different one for each um, office that I go to. Got it. And there's a question, does Clara screen phone calls or just offer a messaging system and video chats? Um, I, 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 you know, Brittany, why don't you take it and then I, I supplement it. 
Um, so what I've noticed is recently it started to take phone calls and it will um, type out the message and then I can also listen to the patient's voice. And then that way it can be assigned to me. And the other nice thing um, that I haven't mentioned yet with Clara and with Emma is I now can directly collect, I can directly connect Clara and Emma. So if I have a patient that um, I have their, I'm opening up and I'm looking at their Clara, I can click and it'll open up an Emma and I can look at their entire chart versus me having to actually search it um, vice versa, which I think is huge. Yeah, and maybe just to add on onto this, um, so we connect into the phone lines. Um, so we first of all transcribe voicemails. This is exactly what you said, Brittany. Um, and uh, what it happens when a patient leaves a voicemail, then this voicemail is transcribed into Clara, and the patient gets a text notification saying, "Hey, sorry that we missed your call for a faster response. Text us here." Um, then uh, the other thing is that we uh, also put a web messenger on on every you know uh, practice website where a patient can just you know uh, when they're on the website just start chatting with you, um, which is a much more effective way than uh, form fills. Um, so you have a much higher conversion there from pay eyes on the website into feed into the practice. And also you're triaging these phone, you know, these questions from the patients into a messaging flow, which is easier to handle. And then um, also we give every practice a textable number so that patients, you, you can put it on your um, business cards or you can put it on your social media or hang it uh, in, uh, you know, put a poster in, 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 in the office. And then before they come into the uh, practice for a visit, they can also um, uh, text the practice. Last thing is we also have the phone greeting, which is basically, and we that's also something we introduced in, in your practice is basically telling, you can include Clara in your phone tree and, and basically say, um, you know, if you um, don't want to wait on hold and prefer texting with us, please press one. And then patients can say, yeah, I, I don't want to wait on hold like we do for so many other services press one, it hangs up the phone, sends the patient a text message and asks them what they want to do for. And then again, we cover the entire patient journey. So we do, a, you know, online scheduling, reminders. Um, then we, uh, you, you talked about insurance card collection, um, filling out forms, and then, you know, powering the video visit, uh, and then also the entire aftermath of the uh, patient follow-up. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna take one more question and then I think we will conclude this webinar. Um, is, I think this is uh, the right way to do it. Um, how long does it take to get Clara set up in, in the office? So it, it depends on the size of the practice. So it's five, uh, we can do it within a couple of days or depending on how large your practice is and, and this can then take you know a little bit more but it's, it's very easy to set up. Maybe Brittany, if, is that hard to learn for the staff to use something like Clara? I mean, at the end of it, it's text text messaging. Um, I find it to be incredibly user friendly. Um, you know, you can log in on your desktop. You can log in. I have the app on my phone, and so I can log in that way. Um, and I, I mean, with the large practice that I'm in, we have all age groups of providers as well as medical assistants. And I found that everyone was able to adapt. Perfect. Um, if there is no other question, I'm, I think we are about time. Um, so uh, Brittany, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I know uh, we are all super busy. And so I really appreciate that you took the time. Also, uh, Chirag, it was amazing to do this together with you. We co-hosted this together. We did it for the first time. And I think it went flawlessly. So uh, yeah, thank you for uh, taking your time. And um, I wish you all a perfect uh, rest of the day. Wonderful. Great. Thank you so much. You know, as, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about both Medley and Clara. And it's changed my practice significantly over the last year. And I, you know, I just hope that other people are able to utilize both of these services as much as I have been able to. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, have a good rest of your day, Brittany. Thank you so much, Chirac. I see you soon. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks, healthy. guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.